Hi, Blast Pop here. Today I'm currently playing a solo game of Antietam by Worthington Games. Uh, this game is currently in turn three, and the Union, uh, in typical fashion, started the attack in Hooker's first corps, moved forward a little bit with Franklin's 11th corps, and I've got uh, Sumner is advancing across the Antietam Creek uh, onto Sharpsburg. Um, now, you can only commit so many units as the Union uh, to the attack, but once they're committed and engaged in combat, there's no reason that uh, you can't continue uh, the combat and let that Peter, you know, either advance or Peter out. And the Confederates actually got thinned out quite a bit in this game, um, especially in the area near the Sunken Lane, which is kind of semi-historical, but not with a devastating effect. A number of Confederate brigades did rout and go back, but not with undue losses like historically occurred. Um, there are several Union units that are um, corps that need to be activated to go across Antietam Creek, but the commitment rules prevent you from committing too much at once, as, as was historically uh, the case. Uh, very simple rules, uh, kind of reminiscent uh, of earlier Terrible Sword by SPI, only at the brigade level. And uh, Phoenix Games came out with a game uh, 30 years ago, uh, uh, Gettysburg High Tide of the Confederacy, and they also came out with a Chickamauga game, which essentially uh, these games in the series Antietam, Shiloh, and the Seven Days um, pay homage to uh, as being their spiritual uh, uh, ancestors. Um, all in all, I'm having a good time. The game moves along quite well. Um, I've probably been playing for, you know, off and on, probably total for a, approximately an hour, and the game is 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 in doubt. Uh, historically, the Confederates did hold on, and I got a sneaking suspicion uh, with the deadly combat that this combat system uses and the high number of strength points on the units. Uh, in the end, the Confederates will probably uh, do, you know, just get by. Uh, but if you take a look at some of the units here, I mean, a, a you know, strength of nineteen. 21, um, 11, 10, but even though there are many strength points, if you take a look at the combat results table, it's very bloody, uh, and you have attack and defense fires as well as offensive artillery fire phases. So you can see quite a few units actually um, can potentially get lost, and then you do a morale check, and... Um, it's, it's not a difficult game, but it, it is definitely engaging from my perspective. Uh, I'm enjoying it rather much, and I suspect I'm going to not only continue this game, but I'm going to um, uh, play um, uh, the Shallow game soon, and then probably pick up the Seven Days games, because it's, it's like a quad, I believe, of uh, four battles uh, using uh, uh, some of the same units and components, so it kind of works really well together for battles that are uh, maybe not as uh, bloody or, or as comprehensive in terms of, uh, of the system that, uh, that Antietam uses. So I, I'm adequately impressed. I've always been a Civil War buff, and this kind of scratches that itch in, in a way that doesn't um, impart undue complexity, undue complexity, but gives a, a dollop of, of, of a reasonable historicity. So I'm I, I mean, I'm pretty high on this uh, game system right now. So anyway, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video, but I did want to check in and let the world know that I am still alive. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Blast Pop. Bye.